Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and today we're back with another Dying Light 2 video. In this video, I'm going to show you all the working duplication glitch for Dying Light 2 on the latest patch 1.8.3. These glitches will help you duplicate pretty much anything in the game. Weapons, consumables, throwables, armors or even crafting resources. So before I show you the trick, you guys need to know something. There are two different types of glitches. One is a solo and the other one requires a co-op partner. And in this video, I'll actually show you guys three different duplication glitches. Also guys, for this week, I actually have a big Dying Light 2 video coming. So if you want to get an early access to that video and my other upcoming videos, then make sure to become a member of this channel. By doing that, you'll actually support the channel as well as get an early access to my videos and some other special perks. You can find the link to become a member in the description as well as pinned comment. Now let's start with the co-op trick first because I really struggled to get a footage for this one. Also, since I didn't have any co-op partner, I actually joined my game with an alternate account using my laptop. So the BG 2.0 you see here is actually me on my laptop. Now let's talk about the trick. Now the first thing you're gonna do is actually invite your friend to your game. And also don't forget to keep all the items you wanna duplicate in your inventory. Well after that, you need to go on top of the VNC tower and from there you will need to go to this building with the crane. So just jump and glide to that location and now once you're there on top of the crane, you will need to look for these blue shrooms. <laughs> This blue shroom is actually part of an easter egg. So if this is your first time seeing it, you will need to unlock it by just holding the button it tells you to hold. So keep doing that until you see it growing this big. Anyways, for us, it's actually unlocked. So if it's actually daytime for you, you can simply try entering the challenge and it will switch to the night time. By the way, a fair warning, do not drop anything on the ground before making it a night time because those items will disappear. Also, don't worry, everything will be all right if you follow what I tell you to do. So now that it's actually night time, you will start dropping the items on the ground that you want to duplicate. Also make sure it's either weapons, consumables, armors or throwables. Other than that, don't drop anything on the ground. So in this video, you can see me dropping one stack of UV flares, one stack of immunity booster and one stack of toughness booster. And as you can see, I'm showing you that's all I had with me. All right, now once we're done dropping the items we want to duplicate, we can actually exit out of the inventory. And after that, just look at the items on the ground to make sure it's actually there. So now once you're done making sure the items are on the ground, you can actually start the challenge. So as soon as the challenge begins, you will actually need to turn around and come back to the crane again. Yes, just come back to the crane and switch to an empty slot so you can actually land properly and stop using the broomstick. Also, don't worry, even if you die while landing on the crane, it won't really matter because technically you will be alive as your co-op partner is still alive out there. So once you're here in this location, you can tell your co-op partner to fast travel to you. This is done to make sure he doesn't fail the challenge or go somewhere else without you. So as soon as your friend fast travels to you, you can start grabbing all the items from the ground. Now once you've grabbed all the items, you will realize that you can't open your inventory because well, Techland patched that glitch. But you don't have to worry because there is a trick to actually open your inventory. So just follow me and look what I'm doing. I'm actually trying to find a windmill in that location. Now stand like this in this location and open your binoculars and look at the windmill. If you do it correctly, you will realize that you're actually getting an option to open the map. You'll find the option at the bottom right screen. So just do that and open your map. Once you've opened your map, you can actually switch to the inventory section and start dropping all those items you wanted to duplicate. Now what you're gonna realize is that those items that you're dropping are actually not going away from your inventory. But don't worry my friends, as they are indeed being dropped on the ground. So once you're done dropping enough of the stacks, exit out and you will see the treasure on the ground. But hold on, don't pick them yet. First cancel the challenge and now you can easily start grabbing all the duplicated items from the floor without any issues. And that my friend is the first trick that shows you how to duplicate in co-op. Now this was the fastest method to duplicate multiple items at a time. But there's another trick that actually takes a bit more time but you can easily get thousands of any item in seconds or minutes. This trick is the second co-op trick. So for this, all you need to do is drop the item you wanna duplicate and the best part is that there are no restrictions. So in short, you can basically duplicate anything in the game. All right, now for this trick, I'll be dropping all the scraps I have with me on the ground. Also, I'll be showing you the screen of both the characters so you can see how much we both have. 
Now as you can see our inventory is kind of same because we are using the same save files. But just for the reference this one is BGA 2.0 inventory and this one is my best camera early inventory. And yeah we both have 1170 scraps with us. So now I'm gonna drop all my scraps on the ground and now we both will stare at the scraps that's on the ground. This simply means that you and your co-op partner both will have to look at the item you dropped on the ground that you want to duplicate. Both of you stare at the item. Now do a countdown up to 3 and grab the scraps together. Yes, you both need to grab these scraps together at the same time. And if you do it correctly, you will realize that both of you actually got the scraps. So me and BGA 2.0, we both started with 1170 scraps. And now as you can see, BGA 2.0 has 2340 scraps, just double of what he had before. And my friends, just in case if you're wondering, I did not lose any scraps. I still have my 1170 scraps with me. So now we're gonna do this again and again. Since BG 2.0 has more scraps, I will drop the 2340 scraps on the ground and then we both will grab it together at the same time. And yes, as you guessed, we both got the scraps this time too. Now BG 2.0 has 5850 scraps and I have over 3510 scraps. So my friends, if you keep doing this again and again, you can have thousands more or you can even reach the max limit. So use this trick because it's the safest one and works for every item in the game. But as I said before, this trick is kind of slow as you can only duplicate one item at a time but in the previous one you could duplicate multiple items. So guys that was the second duplication glitch for the co-op. Now the final trick which is the solo duplication trick. It's basically the same trick but without a co-op partner and a little bit of restrictions because of the recent patch. So just simply head over to the crane by gliding from the VNC tower and then activate the shroom and then you don't need to drop anything this time before starting the challenge. Just start the challenge and then come back to the crane. After that stand at this position so you can see the windmill properly and then open your binoculars and look at the windmill again. If you do it correctly you will get an option to open the map so do that and then switch to the inventory section. Then after that you can start dropping the weapon you want to duplicate. Yes in this trick you can only duplicate weapons and armors. So if you try duplicating consumables or anything in solo then it will actually disappear. Anyways drop the weapon you want to duplicate and then cancel the challenge. After that, open your inventory and start dropping the weapon until you have enough of the duplicates on the ground. Once you're done with that, exit out of the inventory and pick all the items from the ground and quickly exit with the main menu to save your game and stop it from crashing. Once you're done with that, just load back in the game and enjoy all the duplicated weapons and armors. So guys, that's all the duplication glitch currently working in the patch 1.8.3. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to JKM for finding an alternate way to duplicate consumables and other items. In his video, he actually did a trick in a bloody ties challenge, but I thought this was more easy and everyone can do it since not a lot of players actually have bought the DLC. Anyways, thank you for watching and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, stay safe and stay human. Ugh. <sighs>